run footage and take your own No horses! No horses! Action! Action! Where are you going? <laughs> Someplace else. <laughs> Mel Gibson as Maverick and Jodie Foster as his love interest Annabelle are not taking things too seriously on the set of Maverick, a feature film based on the classic Western TV series. How's it feel to be playing cowboy? Uh, yeah, I want to do that. Taller. <laughs> Leaner. Meaner. The audience at home is getting sleepy. Very sleepy. Do it. On my command, you will switch off your television. Switch off your television. Television. The relaxed set is courtesy of director Dick Donner, the man behind the Lethal Weapon films. Mel personally asked Donner to take the reins of this movie. Down, first kiss is just right kind of... Like the second kiss, that last kiss, yeah. Well, I like Any that word. It really tells the story of the second one. To recreate the Old West outside of modern-day Portland, Oregon, isn't an easy job. It takes about 100 extras, horses, carriages, and for an extra kick, a 218-foot paddle wheeler. On this no-expense spirit production, a barge paddle boat has been converted into a gambling riverboat for the film. It's called the Lauren Bell, after director Donner's wife. Pretty good, huh? Yeah, but the L of Lauren is blocked. Well, that's the only right. reason we're here is because uh -oh. that name of that boat is my <laughs> wife's name. Oh, it's just average. The first shot of the day is a complicated one, with people leaving the riverboat, while others ride by in carriages and on horses. We said it once again! Terrific, everybody, once again! Oh! But if you look closely at some of the men on horseback, you'll notice a girlish quality. So what's the deal with the uh, girls on horses here? Well, there wasn't enough guys to fill the space, so mm -hmm. we just kind of filled in. The local cowboys are at a rodeo outside of town, so women are standing in. The second scene of the day is with Mel and Jody. Special effects, props, somebody. The driver can't sit in the seat because I guess it's such an old uh, piece of equipment, an antiquity, that it bows when he sits on it and it gets the door out of alignment, so therefore it's hard to close. With the door problem solved, the shot continues. Mel jokingly jumps on the carriage during one take, and that idea becomes part of the scene. <laughs> Meanwhile, Jody's a bit nervous because of a certain fear she has. Can you, can you tell I'm not really incredibly <laughs> wild about large animals? <laughs> you know what, it's, it's, it's a dumb thing. I, I've, I've seen so many people get hurt on movies that I think I'm like a little Raya? skittish. Have you ever gotten hurt on a movie like, before? Oh yeah, Raya? many times. The original Maverick starred James Garner, and he's here too, but not as Maverick. He's a lawman this time. I even designed my own badge. <laughs> There you go. Looks like I got my American Airlines wing. <laughs> <laughs> the final scene is a stunt in which Garner's double, Roy Clark, who's been his double since the Maverick days, throws a man off the boat. Garner himself is with director Donner, trying to remember the words to the original Maverick song. Luck is his companion. Something is his game. Something is his game. I don't know. I don't really know it. Then, with one camera on a boat alongside and two on board the riverboat, the scene is shot. Ready, energy up, ready, and action! That's it, one day in the life of a big budget western, but there's still the problem of that Maverick song. Marble Canyon in Arizona is the stunning setting being used for the stagecoach scenes of the new Maverick movie. Mel Gibson is Maverick, Jodie Foster and James Garner, the original TV Maverick co-star. Mel was up on his gun technique. To the side. There's that one, there's that one, there's good. that one, you know, and that one, and that one. 
you know, you just keep kind of messing around with it. My, my wages. The last time we visited the set, no one could remember the words to the Maverick song. So this time, director Dick Donner fixed that by printing the words on a crew person's T-shirt. Your underwear is size 36. <laughs> While the first shot is being readied, Jody does a crossword puzzle. It's one, two, three, four, five. Or how about this? Ruin in Spanish. It starts with a T and ends with an A. And it's four letters. Is that stage ready yet? I mean, that, that co that's wagon ready, uh, uh, Rudy? Yes, sir. He's ready? Jimmy, I want a rehearsal one more time. Get the old guy up here. The sequence starts simply enough with the stagecoach containing the three stars leaving a barge. Get up! Get up! Get up! Get up! Get up! Help you Thank you. <laughs> then things get complicated. To shoot the interior scenes of the stagecoach, a mock-up of the coach is mounted on this machine called a shot maker. The shot maker will drive along with the camera and coach on top, as if the whole thing were being driven by horses, according to director Donner. In the old days, not many years ago, we would have been alongside of this in another vehicle and trying to hold a shot and shaking and moving, and we add the shake now. It's so steady. That we have to add the shake to get it over. Okay. Mark. Okay, wheels are going. Touch your desk. Are you ready? We're going to go again. Going again. Okay, boy. Rolling. Keep it jerking like that. You're in. Action. Cut it. Cut it. Cut it. It seems obvious. We got dust kicking up on the right side high. Yes. And I got nothing on the left side. Yeah, I don't know what happened that time. Mr. Maverick here doesn't believe in bravery. Oh, now, Mrs. Bransford, I think it's a fine thing for some man. I'm just saying I think it's overrated. It doesn't suit me personally. I just... After several hours Mr. being Maverick, bounced and having dust believe. blown on them, the stars are ready for a rest. It's like one of his little shaking balls. But they do get an unscheduled break when a rainstorm rolls in and shuts down production for several hours. Masters of property, sir, take this gun and shove it in your prop box. The rain lets up a bit, but they won't have the time to do more than finish shooting Mel's dialogue in this scene. Mel, 